came down to this southern town last summer to show the folks a brand new way of life. But all you've shown the folks around here is trouble, and you've only added misery to their strife. Your concern is not to help the people, and I'll say again, no, it's been often said. Your concern is just to bring discomfort, my friend, and your policy is just a little red. Now ain't I right? Ain't I right? It matters not to you how people suffer, and should they, you consider that a gain. You bring a lot of trouble to the town, and then you leave. That's part of your communistic game. I detect a little communism. I can see it in the things you do. Communism, socialism, call it what you like. There's very little difference in the two. Now ain't I right? Ain't I right? Ain't I right? Your followers sometimes have been a bearded, bathless bunch. There's even been a minister or two, a priest, a nun, a rabbi, and an educated man have listened and been taken in by you. All the country's full of two-faced politicians. Who encourage you with words that go like this? Burn your draft card if you like. It's good to disagree. That's a get acquainted communistic kiss. Now ain't I right? Ain't I right? Ain't I right? One politician said it would be nice to send some blood and help the enemy in Vietnam. That's what he says. Here's what I say. Let's just keep the blood. Instead, let's send that politician man. Let's rid the country of the politicians who coddle tramps and march out in our streets, protesting those who want to fight for freedom, my friend. This kind of leader makes our country weak. Now ain't I right? Ain't I right? Ain't I right? Let's look and find the strong and able leaders. It's time we found just how our neighbors stand. If we're to win this war with communism, let's fight it here as well as Vietnam. Let's rise as one and meet our obligations. So communistic boots will never trod across the fields of freedom that were given to us with the blessing of our great Almighty God. Across the fields of freedom that were given to us with the blessing of our great.